Hello everyone! So today I'm working on a piece that I made a couple of weeks ago for Pilot Nordic's advent calendar on Instagram. So that is why I'm only using Pilot products in this video. It is not a sponsored video though. I just chose myself to film it while I made it so that I could show it to you guys. Since this piece was made for an advent calendar, I wanted to have this really cozy and warm feeling. And of course it had to contain cats too, because you know me. How many cats do you see in this illustration? Let me know in the comments below. You may remember that I used these Pilot Pinter paint markers to decorate sketchbooks with, and after that I really really want to try these for an illustration too, because they look so solid and smooth on paper. And this piece actually took me a lot longer to make than I expected. I wanted to have a lot of details in there to look at, to make it more inviting and interesting. And coloring all these little things and coloring around them took me a little bit of time, but in the end I I think it was totally worth it. It is a little tricky to use these pens on paper since they are water-based and they easily rip the paper if you press too hard and these little paper crumbs will come loose and stick in the paint, so a loose pressure will definitely help here. And using a thicker paper may also be very helpful. I got a lot of questions about how these are compared to the Posca pens and I have to say that they are very similar since they are both paint markers and I have no idea if you can use Posca pens on glass and fabric and stuff and if you can make them permanent by heating them up as you can do with the Pinter pens. So that is the only difference I can think of really and that Posca pens comes in a larger variety of pen nib sizes so far. So this may actually be my very last video for this year, or the second to last one, since I just remember I have to make the annual self-portrait too and talk about my year and my plans for the next year, if you guys are still interested in that. I think I have some stuff that I like to talk to you about and ask you, so I may actually do that. And maybe, just maybe, I will throw in a speed drawing too before that, if I feel like making one, if I have time. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I really need to take a tiny little break now. This year, or these last six months or so, has been so weird and stressful for me because of YouTube and life and such. This fall has been so strange and I've talked to a lot of other people about it and they've been feeling the same way. Like everything is upside down kind of and I'm pretty sure that some of you guys have been feeling it too. I know that some people are getting a little spooked when talking about energies and such but the world's energies has been like a tornado and more sensitive people like myself can actually feel that. And the good news are that it will be better very, very soon. So remember to take care of yourself now if you're like me and you need alone time to regenerate your energies. Make sure to be kind to yourself and listen to your body, listen to your mind and take moments to do things for you that you like. Especially now during Christmas and the holidays it can be quite technical for some people and we're meeting a lot of friends and family and we're doing things. Even if it is fun it can still drain our energies. I know that some people have no clue what I'm talking about right now and that is good, I envy you, but I know that some of you may actually know what I'm talking about, so remember to take a little extra care of yourself now. So even if I am very tired as it is now and I can't wait to take a smaller break from making videos, I am still really excited about what I will create next year and I have already started planning some of the content for future videos. And I've been thinking about making a new fresh Q&A, if that would be interesting, because the last one I made is super old and super cringy, so I thought it was time for a new one. 
So if you have anything you'd like to know about me or about my art and the stuff I'm using or about other stuff like my cats, the universe, let me know in the comments below and I will try to answer them in an upcoming video. And I don't mind personal or weird questions, so you can ask me anything. Just, just don't be rude, but I trust you guys. Then we reach my favorite part, the outlining. And what I love about outlining after the coloring is done is that it first looks really unfinished and messy, but when adding outlines to it, it really brings the whole piece together and the different parts will stand out from each other. But I had to be very careful here too. I think I smudged that poor cat's face, the one next to the clock, a couple of times and I'm really glad I didn't smudge anything else. The good thing is that I could just paint it over with the markers again, since they are opaque and they will cover up my mistakes. And I'm sorry if I'm turning the paper a lot in this video, I'm always trying to keep it somewhat still, but since I didn't want to put my hand in the wet paint and risk smudging it, I'm turning it around instead. And I'm really glad I picked a toned paper for this, even if I'm covering most of it in colors, I can still use the natural tone of the paper for the floor, so I didn't have to color that in at least, which was a relief. There are a lot of saturated colors in this piece, so the toned down natural beige is giving it a lighter feeling, I think. So yeah, I really enjoyed working on this piece. I think it turned out very cartoony and playful and cute. And I love the solid colors. Let me know what you think. And if I'm not making another video before Christmas, I just want to wish you happy holidays and that you will have a great time whatever you're planning to do. I will just take the free time that I have to relax and play some games and read and plan out next year's videos. But I will talk more about that in my annual reviewing the past and talking about the future kind of video that will be up around New Year, so I guess I will see you then. I think that is all I had to say about this, so I'm just gonna play some music now at the end, and I hope you will have a lovely day and holidays. Also, if you want to know when I post new videos, click on that little bell icon after you subscribe to my channel, and hopefully you will get notified when I post new art and stuff. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, keep drawing my happy cats, bye!